The Revenge of Nebula Deep within the universe, beyond the planets known to humans, there existed a powerful entity called Nebula, an intergalactic queen made of pure cosmic energy. She had ruled her corner of space for millennia until Super Kid confronted her during one of his missions. It was an epic battle where Super Kid, with his gleaming shield and immense powers, managed to contain Nebula's destructive force and save the galaxy. However, though she seemed defeated, Nebula never forgot her humiliation. Years later, as Super Kid returned to his life on Earth, helping to solve small crimes and everyday problems, a change in space started to be noticed by scientists. A star at the edge of the solar system began behaving erratically, emitting pulses of dark energy that interfered with communications and satellites. Something strange was happening, and it didn't take long for them to call upon a young hero for help. Super Kid, now more experienced, flew toward the source of the disturbances. As he approached the affected area, he felt a familiar yet malevolent presence. The energy radiating from the cosmos bore the mark of someone he had faced before, Nebula. Suddenly, the space in front of him distorted, and from a vortex emerged Nebula, surrounded by a dark, glowing aura. Her face, framed by a crown of extinguished stars, showed a mixture of fury and satisfaction. Super Kid, she spoke with a deep voice. The time has come to settle our score. Nebula was not the same as before. After her defeat, she had traveled to the darkest reaches of the universe, where she found an unknown power source, an abyss of negative energy that enhanced her abilities and made her more dangerous than ever. Now, her intent was not only to destroy Super Kid, but also to conquer Earth, the home of her nemesis, as an act of revenge. Super Kid did not back down. He knew that the fate of his planet depended on his bravery and cunning. Though Nebula now seemed more powerful than before, the young hero had grown and learned since their last battle. With his shield gleaming brightly on his chest and his blue, red, and yellow suit fluttering in space, he launched himself toward Nebula, determined to defend not only his home, but the galaxy as well. The confrontation was brutal. Nebula unleashed storms of dark energy that threatened to consume everything in their path, while Super Kid used his flying abilities and super speed to dodge the attacks. But Nebula wasn't just interested in destruction. She toyed with her adversary, creating illusions and distractions, knowing that any mistake could mean the end for the young hero. During the battle, Super Kid remembered something his mentor, the wise Elder Galadar, had taught him. It's not always about strength. Sometimes, true victory lies in understanding your enemy. With this thought, Super Kid began to observe Nebula's attack patterns. He noticed that each time she used her dark energy, something in her aura fluctuated, as if she were channeling the energy from an external source. Super Kid decided to change his strategy. Instead of continuing to defend himself, he began provoking Nebula, forcing her to use more and more of her power. Nebula blinded by her rage and thirst for revenge, didn't realize she was exhausting her energy source. Finally, when Nebula unleashed a massive attack, Super Kid used his shield as a reflector, deflecting the attack and redirecting it toward Nebula's power source. The impact was devastating. Nebula screamed as her connection to the dark energy was severed, significantly weakening her. Seizing the moment, Super Kid lunged at her and, with a calculated move, managed to trap Nebula in a prison of cosmic energy designed to contain even the most powerful entities in the universe. Nebula, furious but powerless, was taken away to a dimension where her power could no longer harm anyone. The battle was over, but Super Kid knew that the threat of Nebula would never completely vanish. As he gazed at the stars, he reflected on the price of peace and the constant vigilance he had to maintain. Though he was still a child in many ways, with dreams and desires like any other, he was also the protector of Earth and the universe. His responsibility was immense, but Super Kid was ready to face it, no matter what the future held. When he returned to Earth, he was greeted as a hero, but for him, the greatest reward was knowing he had done the right thing once again. However, somewhere far away, in the depths of space, Nebula waited, fueled by her hatred, plotting her return. 
But until that day, Super Kid would remain vigilant, ready for any new challenge the universe might throw at him.